Hi, my name is Rody Davis, and I'm a developer relations engineer. And today I'm going to show you how to create a new cross-platform Flutter application in under a minute. To get started, make sure you have the Flutter SDK already installed in VS Code or your favorite IDE. Start by opening up terminal or command prompt on your machine and creating a new directory with the following command. Now navigate inside that directory. Now create the Flutter template using the Flutter CLI and a period argument to create it inside the current folder using the folder name as the project name. We're also passing the skeleton template flag to create the project using the community best practices. Next, add some dependencies with the pub command and a list of packages separated by spaces. Here, we're adding shared preferences to persist a key value store, a window manager to customize the desktop Chrome, and platform info to check which platform we're running on. After the project is successfully created, open it up in your favorite IDE. We can modify the default project to store the light and dark mode, as well as hiding the title bar. With the project open in the IDE, navigate to the main.dart file located in the lib directory. Starting with storing the dark mode, we can import shared preferences package at the top of the file. Next, add a line to make sure that the Flutter widget binding is initialized, since we're calling some packages before any widgets are shown. Then, get the current preferences saved on the user's device and pass it to the setting service. Now navigate to the setting service located inside the setting directory. Import the shared packages again. Now add the preferences to the constructor. Since the key value store is what we need to have a light theme, we need to have a key to pair it with. Replace the to-do comment and check for the current setting and provide a fallback if not found. Then we simply return the correct theme mode by a given index. Now replace this to-do comment by saving the current theme mode value by the index. Replacing nothing else, if we run the application, the brightness will pers be persisted now on restarts. Now to hide the status bar on desktop, we can go back to main.dart in the lib directory and import the platform info package as well as window manager. Now check to see if the app is running on desktop and create a set of window options that we use to hide the title bar, set the background color to transparent and even the position and size. Then listen for the manager to be ready and then show and focus the window. Now, if we run the application on desktop, we should see the window in the center of the screen without a title bar. Follow for more videos like this and leave a comment if you have something you want to see built. Thanks for watching.